All right, so just got a call to help a buddy out with the main breaker problem. And as you can see, we pulled the breaker out. It's not conducting hot spots all over it, which I'll show you. So you can see the connection's been bad, builds resistance, heat builds more resistance, and boom, you get a meltdown. So we've got a jaw bad in here in Costa Rica. You have to provide your service equipment, whereas in Norte Americano, you would just call the power company and they would change this meter base for you. So we're going to try to clean it up for now, get it conducting again, and then we will see if we can find some parts to do a permanent fix on it. So there you go. That's what happens when you get high resistance, high heat, and no power. Okay, so I cleaned up the jaws with a wire brush and put the breaker back in, the new breaker. Now I'm just gonna check for continuity across from that lug to here. Of course, I've got the meter pulled. So I don't know if you can see that, but I got two to four ohms of resistance from the, from the incoming hot to the bottom of the breaker. So it's probably gonna do, but like I said, we need to change the jaws in this meter base or change the base. So two on the good side, one ohm of resistance. And I get anywhere between two and down to one so I think we're gonna be all right for now so I'm gonna put the meter back in you didn't hear me say that because you're not supposed to pull the meter here without <laughs> telling the uh, power utility but to get them to come and look tell after them. things I'll tell them later <laughs> yeah <laughs> just say you knocked it with the brew with the rake and yeah, you, you broke the seal off so they got to come and put it back yeah. so there you go we're gonna try this out I'll turn and I'll put the meter back in in a minute here and then we will see what we got for power coming out of the bottom of the breaker all right so we're back we got the meter installed and the, the uh, lock ring back in place I'm gonna turn on the power just to see what we got for voltages always turn your face away when you turn on a breaker just in case there's a dead short somewhere and if there's an arc flash you're not gonna get your face burnt so there we go we got 238 volts well, between good. hot to hot Phenomenal. neutral to hot get a better connection on that hands are a little shaky this morning as I've only had coffee no food 118 on one leg 118 on the other so we're good for now so here's a good close-up look at what can happen when you got the high resistance connections that jaw is burnt to a crisp side of the breaker it's got a burnout spot in it so remember resistance equals higher current flow and the more the current flow through a poor resistance the higher the resistance gets and the more heat build up till you get meltdown here's another fine example of what happens here so this meter was never installed or has been removed so there's the conduit for the load side and here where the meter base used to be Possibly someone thought they needed it more than it needed to be in place here. And so there you got the two hot wires coming right off the bus bar, the gutter. And that's coming right off the transformer. So if any curious little fellow wanted to unwrap those pieces of tape, they would find themselves touching 12240. And then here's a typical service installation. So we got the mask going up here, the sun. In my eyes but we just got a metal post going up to the transformer connections so as a follow-up to this sometimes when you do a temporary fix like we did and things are working well then the old out of sight out of mind scenario comes into effect and you don't think about it again until the problem rears its ugly head one more time so we still had some resistance there high resistance builds heat Heat builds more resistance, and we had another meltdown, only this time it was a little more catastrophic, as you can see from the photos. It melted the jaws in the meter socket, and it also got really hot and melted the meter itself, the jaws on the meter. So, this required a call to Coupe Guanacaste, where they had to come out and replace his entire meter base and socket and breaker which should have been done in the first place, but we needed the temporary fix, and that fix seemed to get us through for about four months, but 
kind of time ran out on that. So there you go. When you have a problem, make sure you get it fixed up properly and get it done right so you don't have to deal with this again. So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, help me get to that magic 100,000 subscribers. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and we'll see you in the next one.